for me. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. This is MMA fight coverage. Um, you have a fight on the 29th against Aiden Lee. Can you tell us about that? What's up, man? Thanks for having me. Um, right. Yeah, it's a little uh, hometown fight here in Phoenix. And uh, looking forward to it. Are you happy that uh, Bellator has come back to Phoenix so soon after your last victory? It's cool, man. Yeah, and they put me on the card right away, so that's uh, it's been it's been extra motivating. Is it a lot nicer, so you don't have to do the traveling? Yeah, no, it is. You know, but I'm just like I'm the type of dude that I'm just so fucking pumped to fight every single time. Like if I'm traveling, I'm like, yeah, I get to travel <laughs> and fight somebody. If I'm staying, if I'm fighting in a hometown, I'm like, I got to stay here and fight. So, yeah, it's all good. Do you think uh, Phoenix is going to become a regular spot like like Connecticut or Englewood, places you fought before? Dude, it seems like it. The crowd was crazy this last the last time. It was, it was packed. Uh, people were super loud and pumped. And uh, I think that might be the reason why they came back so fast. Oh, yeah. No, it was packed. I was there. Do you know much about your opponent? Yeah, he's a tall, lanky, kickboxer type dude with uh, with some submissions on his record. So, seems well rounded. You have one mutual opponent that you beat, but beat him. Do you think that's really going to matter? Nah, MMA math is yeah. uh, kind of weird. It doesn't always add up. If you, once you win this fight, anybody you want to rematch? Maybe a uh, Archuleta, anybody like that? You think? Yeah, rematches are always cool, you know, especially if they beat you. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. But uh, honestly, just keep pushing forward and uh, you know, get my get back on, get back in the top ten. Are there any opponents that are above you that obviously you want to fight, even if even if it's not a rematch? Um, yeah, I haven't given that too much thought. Besides wanting to fight anybody in the top ten. Can you tell us about your gym you train at? Seems like it's becoming a super gym with all the big names training there. Yeah, Fight Ready is the spot, man. And uh, that's just a testament to the coaches. These coaches are putting in work on, with all these fighters. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a place that people are, like, seeking and uh, wanting to come out and train. And we got people coming in. We got Zombie coming in for his camp against Volkanowski. Uh, uh, that light or that featherweight um, Diego came down to do his camp for his championship fight, and uh, yeah, it's just been a. It's that was been actually cool gonna be my le next question. I was gonna ask you about Korean Zombie. Do you train him? And if so, um, do you, how do you think he'll do if, if he gets that title fight or if he got it? Yeah, Zombie's the homie. Uh, when he comes down, we get we I get some work in with him and. Uh, I think he has a good chance, dude. Zombie's a veteran, and he's been in the game for a minute, and he's super seasoned and crafty, and he's a winner. So uh, he, he's definitely going to give Zolkanowski a run for his money. Who are some of the other training partners around your weight that you train with? Um, sure, I've been training a lot of with Jonathan uh, Pierce. He fights in the UFC. Hunter Azure is in the UFC. Uh, Bobby Moffitt, he just fought PFL, UFC vet. Um, Luis Saldana, he fights in the UFC. Um, Dan Moret, he's he's a Bellator co-worker. Uh, Bryce Logan, he's also in Bellator. And yeah, it's, the mats are packed. So you have one other teammate on the card this Saturday, um, in, during your fight, fight card? No, no. no. What are your predictions for this Saturday's heavyweight fight and also the other two main fights on your card? Uh, well, Bader's a local guy, so I'm going for him for sure. Oh, Benson. Benson's an OG. Love that guy. Uh, going for him, too. And uh, who else is fighting? Um, for this next, this Saturday for the UFC, any predictions on that? Nigano oh, oh I thought you were talking about my card. Um, no, I was talking about your card and also that card, both cards, you know. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, probably Ninganu for sure. And then uh, who else is fighting on that card? Um, I can't even think top of my head. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of our teammates is fighting a little monster. Uh, she's fighting on the card. So her too. Oh, nice. Is there any fighters that you like to watch and any styles that you like to emulate when you're fighting or training? Um... 
Yeah, just I don't know, just guys that just fight, <laughs> get in there, mix it up. That's kind of that's always that's always exciting. I asked a few people if they had any questions for you. One person asked me if ever tuning a rose, would you go back down to one thirty five or up to fifty five? No, no, I'm, I'm pretty cool at featherweight. Uh, I tried, I tried to fight at thirty five once, and uh, it didn't work out for me. So, and, we're, uh, we're, I'll keep going. Sorry. And so going up to, to so, go, go, going up to one fifty five, yeah, those guys are pretty big. So that, that'd be that'd be tough. I asked Tom if you had a question. He just said, "Tell you, uh, Viva America, and all that matters." I don't know if you trained with him before. <laughs> oh yeah, Tom Ortiz is cool as fuck. Yeah, he's cool. Do you have any sponsors? Anybody else you can give a shout out to? Yeah, man, uh, Dreamscapes. That guy's been with me for a minute now. He's been he's been such a big support. Uh, Hordy Control, uh, uh, Men's Lawn Barbershop. They just got out, got on board right here in Phoenix. Local barbershop and uh, CBD MD. Uh, yeah, it's a bunch of other ones that will be on my Instagram. There's a bar at. Just curious. I'm in Zempi. Yeah, there's a couple. There's a couple of bar. There's the men's lounge barbershop. They have a bunch of them throughout the valley. Um, the one I know, my buddy Al runs the one right here. Owns the run right here off of uh, Happy Valley in the 17 Freeway, North Phoenix. Nice. And also, um, what do you like to do when you're not training or fighting? Uh, I like outdoor stuff. I like hiking, paddle boarding, but I kind of do that even when I'm train like <laughs> training full time. Um, yeah, I'm just hanging out and eating. Nice. What are you gonna eat when you when your fight's over that you haven't eaten? Tacos, tacos, tacos. Nice. Where do you, what's the uh, spot that you go to out here, or really any good spot? I'm gonna since the fight's right there in downtown Phoenix. I'm gonna go to uh, AZ Taco Boys. That place is pretty good. I know. There's a, there's a lot of good food spots over there. Well, thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, good luck. I'll see you at the fights, bro. All right, man. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. for having me. Thank Later. you. Peace. Bye.